So continuing with electron configurations, let's have some, some fun with this. Um, let's just start off by example and go to titanium, uh, atomic number 22. So titanium, Ti, very nice, strong, lightweight metal, 22 electrons. And we're going to map them out. The first energy level has an S sublevel holds two. The second energy level has an S sub S sublevel holds two. The second energy level has a P sublevel holds six. The third energy level uh, has an S sublevel holds two. The third energy level has a P sublevel and holds six. So let's pause right here. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 6 is 10, 18. All right, 18. I need four more to go. And so you're like, okay, well, third sublevel, I did the S's, I did the P's, I'm going to go to the D's, and I'm going to go, okay, well, then it's 3D, 4. Because, you know, I'm filling them. And then, you know, you could start your boxes and your diagrams, except it's wrong. This isn't right. Is that right? All right. Nope. This isn't right. No, no. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Tapper, you just told me I fill in the S's and then I fill in the P's and then I fill in the D's and, you know, I fill it in the order. That's what I'm doing. And I would say, you're right. You do it that way, except you don't. Because stuff happens and it's chemistry and What really happens is the following. So we don't even want to look at this. What really happens is titanium, yes, we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. We're going to stop right here. This is true. We fill in the one energy level with a sublevel, uh, two electrons there, two electrons in the S, two electrons in the P for the second energy level that works. Third energy level, we fill in the two for the S, we fill in the two for the P, and then what happens, which is weird, is we fill in the four S. And that can hold two electrons. And now I only have 20 electrons, and then I fill in the three D. And only, only two left there. And like, what? Wait, whoa, wait, you, whoa, 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 whoa. It's out of order. It's out of order. You're filling in the fourth before you're filling in the third. What? I know. It's complicated. But here's what happens. And this is an abbreviated, oversimplified version. See this? third energy level and fourth energy level? Well, the third energy level, because it holds an S, a P, and a D, the third energy level, you know, it takes up kind of a lot of space up here, right? Like a lot of this region is third energy level. Like it's getting big. You're holding up to 18 electrons. The fourth energy level holds SPD, that's all 32 electrons, and it's taken up a good amount of room, right? I represented the uh, middle of the energy levels as a line, but it's taking up a lot of room out there, it's a lot of space. And the fourth energy level, you know, it's taking up a lot of space too, but what happens is there's a little bit of overlap. The, the, the volume uh, 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 of the region that, that these electrons take up is, is gets, starts getting out of hand. And what happens is, the fourth energy level is so big because it's got so many more electrons that it kind of pushes downward and kind of kind of bleeds into the third energy level before it. And so what happens is that the fourth energy level actually starts before the 3D energy level because of this overlap. And then, you know, it gets, things gets pushed out of order. Because the four, uh, the four S's, the, they're going to fill in. The, the the fourth energy level is going to start before the third one. Be, uh, third one ends, and then 
And heck, this isn't even getting to the fifth, sixth, and seventh energy levels where we have so many more electrons. The overlapping just starts getting crazy. And then you're like, well, then I don't know who's gonna fill in when and who and what if all this overlap is happening. What's gonna fill first, second? I don't know. Well, again, Mother Nature is kind of fun in the way she makes patterns. So there's a way to map out the overlaps and see what sublevels fill before what other sublevels, even if the main energy levels are out of order. So let me take you through that. Now I did provide in the notes a sheet that's a grid system just to keep it straight so that um, we can keep this neat. up a little bit. 